Hi there! This is the tenth video in the basics series and in this video I'm going to show you how to level a photo that's perhaps crooked or slanted. Uh, I'm guilty of this myself because my camera doesn't have one of those nice little on-screen guides to help level photos so I sometimes take pictures such as this one which is at a slant at an angle. The water should be level but it's not and that takes a good photo and just screams amateur all over it. Not good. But hey, that's what Photoshop's here for. It's very simple. How you do it is you use the crop tool. Uh, to begin with though, <clears throat> I'm gonna set a guide kind of near the halfway point to show what it should have looked like. So I can take my ruler here and I just click and drag a, a guide down. So I click and drag and it brings a guide and let me just kind of get that in the middle right about there and now it's obvious to see just how much of a slant this photo was taken at it's not good at all and I want to fix that okay to do that I'm going to use the crop tool and so how I like to usually do it is I try and get one of the edges and I start by putting it across the interface between the water and the air. So let me show you that. I start at the very top corner, click and drag, I go all the way across the image and then I bring it down to about the middle. So right about there. Okay. Now I have to tilt this crop to match the angle of the water. And notice how if I go anywhere around the corners, around the four corners, my cursor actually changes into two arrows at like a 90 degree angle to each other. It's like a curved type of mouse pointer. And that's indicating that I'm able to click and drag this and rotate the crop. And that's what I want to do. I want to rotate this so that it matches along with the water level. So I'm going to click and drag and I'm just dragging it up and right about there see how it matches the water level the bottom so I release the mouse button and now I, I drag this down to the full part of the image Okay. whenever you rotate a crop you have to be very careful notice how up here I have this part and over here I'm cropping this part. Well, whenever you're outside of the picture and you do a crop, it's actually going to add um, like either the foreground or the background color, either black or white in my case. And it won't look good. Let me just show you that. I'll, I'll accept this crop. Okay, so it did the background color. And see, now notice how it has white here. White here. Uh, that does not look good. You don't want that. So I'm going to undo that. And now I'm going to redo the crop. So let me make the crop again. Okay, now I rotate the crop to right about there. Bring it down. And now whenever you rotate a crop and you don't want that border stuff, you have to fit the crop within the image and inevitably that means you're gonna lose some information you're gonna to have to crop off some part of the image sadly but it's what you gotta do so I'm gonna pull this down so that it's within the image over here it's not out it's outside a little bit so I have to pull that in a bit okay right about there uh, this is also outside of the image so I have to pull that in and now I can pull this down just a tiny bit Okay, there we go. And so in order to get that rotation, I have to crop off a fair amount of the border of the image, which is unfortunate, but it saves the image, so there you go. I'm going to accept this crop by double-clicking. And now you can see how it's much, much closer to the guide. If I move the guide up a little bit, you can see how almost perfect it is. Let me clear the guide so I go to view, click
clear guides and there we go there's my cropped image it started off slanted and just by cropping it and rotating that crop I've made it straight so congratulations this is the 10th video this is the last basics video you've made it all the way congratulations now you should know how to do some basic edits and you should be able to be at the point where you can start improving your photos you can rotate them you can crop them you can adjust the shadows the highlights change color paint stuff with paint brushes you can touch up the photo I mean you can do a lot of stuff now so be very proud of yourself you're on your way to becoming a Photoshop God <laughs> okay I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching the series